as a pastor, I literally feel as though the blood of those who were killed, murdered uh, on that dreadful day, uh, still crying out still, because they have not received justice. A North Tulsa pastor is hoping justice is coming for the victims of the 1921 Tulsa race riots. News on 6 is Sawyer Bussey is on the story and has details on where Tulsa's mayor believes mass graves from the riots could be located. People who I spoke with here in North Tulsa tell me the new search is a step in the right direction, but say that more action needs to be taken to bring justice to the families who lost loved ones in the massacre. The basement of the Vernon Chapel AME Church is the only part of the original building left after the 1921 race riots burned Tulsa's Black Wall Street to the ground. As a pastor, uh, that is personal for me. Members of this church at the time died and some of them survived, but several of them died, and they have yet to have a funeral service. During a North Tulsa community meeting this week, the conversation turned to ways to economically develop the Greenwood District. But Reverend Turner says we need to be focused on the unmarked graves and getting justice for the victims who have never been found. It's not just an opportunity for somebody to make some money. This is bloodland. Mayor G.T. Bynum says he first heard about the possibility of mass graves from the riots when he was a city councilor, but tells me he didn't have the power to start an investigation until he became mayor. From my standpoint, this is a murder investigation. And whether you were murdered in 2018 or 1921, the city has a compact with you that we will do everything we can to find out what happened to you. Bynum met with archaeologists who have listed three sites where mass graves could be. New Block Park, Booker T. Washington Cemetery, and Oaklawn Cemetery. We're going to do what we can to find out what happened to them, and we're going to have compassion for their family. And at a most basic human level, that's what this is about. Sawyer Bussey, News on 6.